that speck from the shoe, I blew it up and created this from that dot. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 science fiction thriller, The Alternate, a film that is directed by Ulrich Bursal and it stars Ed Gonzalez Marino and Natalie Dominguez. And even though it's a 2021 release, it's just getting its release now this month. Now the film focuses on a character called Jake, um, who wants to be a filmmaker. Um, he's trying really hard to get like his project up and running like a, a film sort of thing. He's trying to get the funds together and he's trying to make ends meet essentially by doing like corporate videos and things like that. He's deeply unsatisfied with it, but you know, he has to do what he has to do to get by. While he's filming like this corporate video, um, he kind of pulls this speck from the background and turns it into a screensaver. Um, and soon discovers that in actual fact this isn't a screensaver, it's a portal to another dimension. Um, he decides to explore this other dimension and finds that there's another him living a far better life that he becomes quite envious about. Right, what are my thoughts on the alternate? Well, this is a low budget science fiction film. Um, it's it's got some decent production values about it in the sense of it it looks reasonably polished um even though it isn't full of effects this film the effects that you do get are of a decent standard you know they don't take you out of the film or anything like that and while the performances are not what i would describe as stellar um they certainly keep you engaged and but there's there's there's, there's a couple of performances or line deliveries maybe that I think um, could have been done better or could have used with a few more takes to get them right but overall even though it's low budget um, trust me if you watch a lot of low budget films it won't necessarily feel like it's bottom of the barrel type stuff this because it certainly isn't there's some effort gone into how this film has been made uh, and performed um, now this is like a science fiction subject that is touched on a lot you know i see a lot of these like type of science fiction films i've reviewed a fair amount of them on the channel and they all kind of explore similar subjects in similar ways or try and put different spins on it here there and everywhere and i think whenever you try and approach a subject like this in a science fiction film it's, it's, it's always difficult to kind of be original about it and this film certainly isn't um original certainly in its approach um I think some of the problems that this film has is it's one of those science fiction films that if you pull on the threads, it will fall apart in regards to plot points and all that kind of stuff, which is always an issue, I think, with time travel. This isn't a time travel film, but like science fiction with time travel or science fiction with different dimensions, you know, um, it's very, very difficult. You know, it raises a lot of questions. So if you're one of these people that go into a film that, you know, you're going to come away with like lots of questions and it's going to annoy you then this this probably won't be for you because it doesn't necessarily worry too much about scientific accuracy or anything like that i mean for goodness sake we get a dimension that is created from some speck in the background that it turns into a screensaver you know there's no scientific explanation as to how this dimension um is created uh, at all it's just it is what it is he finds it blows it up turns it into a screensaver and discovers that you can enter a new dimension um, and that's it it doesn't go any more in depth to it than that and the character jake when we meet him in this film he's got like his big bushy beard that i mean looks massively fake anyway um but it, i mean it 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 wasn't a great look. It did look ridiculous. And then, lo and behold, when he goes through to the other dimension, the other version of Jake has no beard. Um, and you just kind of like, really? So that's how we're going to distinguish between you? Um, and then, obviously, because he becomes envious of this other Jake's life, um, he decides he's going to kind of try and... Um, well, you make, you make your own mind up if, like, when you watch it, you see for yourself. But um, he does a bit of beard shaving, shall we say. Um, because he prefers the other life to his own and that was another issue for me is you've got you've you've invent you, or you've discovered this dimension what does he do with it constructively nothing i mean there's a very limited scene where he tries to get in touch with some scientists to let them know he's, he's discovered this dimension is kind of fobbed off and that's it he doesn't pursue it anymore he just kind of uses it for his own 
advantages, but the way he uses it for his own advantages are pretty ridiculous, really. You could think of a different, a, a whole host of different ways to use it to your advantage, this other dimension, and um, but or use it for the benefit of mankind or whatever. There's a whole different array of reasons as to how you could use a dimension like this, and his approach is really selfish. Um, and that's not necessarily the character we are massively presented at the start of the film sort of thing. It is to some degree because he's his wife, um, played by Chris. Uh, sorry, played by Natalie Dominguez, who's called Chris. You know, she's trying to bring in the money to the house while he's trying to get his filming career off the ground, you know, his, his film career off the ground. And so he's a little bit selfish in that sense, where he's allowing her to do that and not recognising the hard work she's putting in. But he doesn't come across as like an, a, a, an unpleasant character or anything like that. He's just, you know, a little bit selfish. But then he just, he goes completely off the rails um, when, he, when he discovers this dimension and this, this other life on the other side of this um, dimension. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. It is a little bit frustrating. Uh, if you pull on the threads, it will all fall to pieces. Um, and it's just, other than a really cool scene at the end, which kind of answers the question of what, what, what would happen to you if you were hanging between two dimensions and the dimension closed, um, it, it's not necessarily what I would describe as a really satisfying science fiction film. It's certainly watchable, um, but the, for me, there's too much wrong with it. It, it leaves you with too many questions, um, and it is a little bit frustrating to watch. So I'm going to be... Um, I almost I did consider a five out of ten, but I've settled on a four and a half out of ten because for me it just failed to deliver on many levels. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful. I will be back with more reviews and content on the channel very very soon.